In this video, we shall cover the following aspects of chanting the Radha Nama or the Radha Mantra. 1. The meaning of the Radha syllables. 2. The true meaning of Radha Nam. 3. Radha Nam's relationship with Vrindavan. 4. Sri Krishna's relation with Radha Nam. 5. Material and spiritual elements of Radha Nam. 6. What Radha Nama will not do. 7. How to chant Radha Nam. First, let us see the formation of the Radha Nam. Ra literally means brilliance. The syllable encompasses within itself the brilliance of the sun. Dha means that which attracts all that is auspicious. It also means that which holds everything within itself. Dha is a powerful mantra that represents the natural divine forces of Devi Shakti. The combination of the syllables Radha has the propensity to bring within reach the highest of all goals, Bhakti. According to the various Vaishnava Sampradayas, even liberation or moksha is something of the inferior kind. Para Bhakti or Supreme Love is beyond the ken of even liberation, the highest of all. Please watch our video teachings of Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya, Maya in Gaudiya Vaishnava Philosophy. When one chants Radha Nam with a simple heart, it can melt and destroy all that is unreal and illusory. Radha Nam can bring within reach all that is inconceivable. It brings unprecedented glory to the chanter. One should not confuse such glory with the trivial, lowly, worldly glory that millionaires, politicians or other so-called famous people have. One should understand that Radha Nam is Shuddha Tattva. It is that name that is the purest of the pure. The glory that this Nam brings within our reach is even unattained by the Devatas or heavenly beings. Certain things have to be experienced. Here, words fall short. As one takes up the chanting of Radha Nam, one shall understand the priceless worth of this Nama. In the Vaishnava Sampradaya prevalent in the northern part of Bharat, Vrindavan is considered the holiest place on the planet. Watch our video, History of Banke Bihari Mandir Vrindavan, Banke Bihari Temple History and know more about this great temple in Vrindavan. Fortunately, I reside in the same place with my family. In this beautiful piece of land, Radha Nam chanting is the primary practice of its residents. People from everywhere come to Vrindavan and practice Radha Nam chanting as part of their spiritual routine. As per the Vaishnava scriptures, Radha Nam is the easiest way of gaining the unalloyed love and grace of the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. It is said that the whole world is under the sway of Lord Krishna, but Lord Sri Krishna himself comes under the grip of Radha Nam. It is said that Lord Krishna takes a long time to come if one undertakes the chanting of his name, but he is eager to serve the person who chants the Radha Nam at once. Just as Sri Hanumanji Maharaj is more pleased by the chanting of Ramanama when compared to his own divine name, Sri Krishna is better influenced by the person who chants Radha Nam instead of his own name. Sri Radha is the Allahadini Shakti or pleasure potency of the Lord. She is Ananda Swarupa. Radha Rani represents that force that binds Sri Krishna, thereby elevating the practitioner of Radha Nam to an unparalleled position. Such a practitioner develops love for Godhead very fast and is promoted to the spiritual platform with the least resistance from Maya Devi. A chanter of the Radha Nam finally gets promoted to the spiritual domain known as Goloka Vrindavan. Such a person is said to attain a direct association with Srimati Radharani and Sri Krishna. The mood is preliminary when it comes to the chanting of the Radha Nam. The chanting of Radha Nama should not be used for material benefits. Srimati Radha's divine name is entirely spiritual without a trace of the material element. Dear viewers, Spirit Meaning Channel needs your help. Throughout the year, we conduct various initiatives like providing food to animals, supplying monthly groceries to old women and planting trees close to the sacred Govardhan mountain near the birthplace of Lord Krishna. Your selfless donations will help us reach out to the needy. The Bhagavad Gita describes seva or such service as an act of pure goodness in this age of Kali. So by whatever means possible, please consider donating to the number displayed on the screen below. You can do this via Google Pay, Phone Pay or Paytm. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. The sadhakas and sages of the Vaishnava Sampradayas have spoken of Srimati Radha as the epitome of Parabhakti. Her sadhana means that one is interested in attaining the highest goal of spirituality and nothing less. It does not mean you have to get rid of desires before you chant the Radha Naam. No, this is not expected. Anyone who chants the Radha Naam is automatically elevated to the spiritual platform. All his worries melt away. He shall have no debts while his material life will be revamped totally. His habits shall be altered. Additionally, his lower tendencies will be reversed. But all these changes shall manifest while chanting the Radha Naam only if the Sadhaka is sincere. If the Sadhaka tries to derive material benefits from the Radha Naam, it tests the Sadhaka to see whether the practitioner intends to use the Nama for material benefits. Such a Sadhaka may attain material benefits too. But if the Sadhaka tries to use the Nama only for such benefits, in the long term the Nama will leave the Sadhaka. Such a Sadhaka will have many obstacles that shall stop the Sadhaka from using the Nama. On the other hand, if the Sadhaka is sincere and chants the Radha Naam to elevate himself to the spiritual platform, the Naam works like an elixir and starts supporting the Sadhaka. Such a Sadhaka starts developing Bhakti in his heart. All his material work gets sorted out and managed, giving him enough time for spiritual growth. Love for Lord Krishna and Vrindavan Dham increases in his heart. The greatest desire of a Radha Naam Sadhak will be to attain the abode of Vrindavan on this planet and later attain the eternal association of Sri Krishna and Srimati Radharani in the spiritual plane. A person who chants the Radha Naam sincerely over a long period shall forsake non-vegetarian food, onion, garlic and mushrooms. Such inspiration automatically rises in the mind of the person who chants Radha Naam. Radha Naam can destroy all the sins of the chanter in a short time. The Radha Naam has the same efficacy as the Rama Nama. These are some of the things that you should not expect Radha Naam to do. You should never expect the Radha Naam to act as per your whims and fancies. Do not expect that chanting Radha Naam will make you rich or solve your problems in a jiffy. If your goal is only Sri Krishna and you are not concerned about your material position, I have seen Naam solving all types of problems in the shortest possible time. If you have any expectations from the Nama other than Sri Radha, Sri Krishna or Vrindavan Dham, you shouldn't take up the chanting of the mantra. It will be better for such people to take up some other form of sadhana. Now I shall mention a simple way how you chant Radha Naam. There are no specific ways of chanting the Radha Naam. It can be chanted by anyone at any time, at any place or by any gender. It is ideal to use tulsi beads or a rosary made of basil stalks. For faster results, one should chant 64 rounds of the Radha Naam on the tulsi beads, which is 108 into 64 times. The time of chanting is immaterial. You may sit in front of the deity and chant. While chanting, the intention becomes very important. Only pray for receiving the love of Sri Radha and Krishna as you chant the Nama. This attitude is the most powerful way of relieving you from Maya's attacks and finally breaking her strands. Watch our video concept of Maya, Maya and Karmic Cycle explained to know the connection between Karma and Maya. Radha Naam can relieve you from all unnecessary work that does not contribute to your soul. It relieves you from mundane life in the fastest possible time which probably no other Nama or Mantra is capable of. In my opinion, Radha Naam only attracts practitioners whose final goal is Parabhakti.